Welcome back. So, of course, health and education seem to be very top priorities in the current government, but there are some misfortunes facing some people in the north, affecting their health care accessibility and also education. Of course, in the Far East, the poor road network and lack of bridges over rivers in the Far East district of the Upper West region is slowing down effective health care. It takes about three days to travel from some health facilities to the district capital due to this. Bright and Alpha was there and he reports that medicines and vital documents get signed late while patients queue for days waiting for health care providers. This is Mission and is supported by Star Ghana with funding from UK Aid, Danida and EU. And we have a video on that for you to see. Daily, health workers struggle to beat time. Yet, saving lives is a duty they must perform. A poor road network hinders healthcare delivery. No two communities are joined by a tarred road in the Wa East district. Commercial vehicles ply route less. It is not profitable. Commuting from one end to the other is therefore a headache. Two water bodies separate the district. Funsi, the capital, is on one side with over 20 villages, and Bilinga, another community with over 100 villages on the other. You cannot cross to the other side of the district without crossing the river. The water is low now. The tides are low, and so I can easily walk across. Motorbikes and vehicles, four-wheel drives particularly, can also cross. This will enable you to access the other part of the district. Then the bigger of the two, the Kulian River. It takes courage to cross even at this time of the year. It is safe to cross at this time, but impossible when the river is full. That's the scale you need to. There's a certain scale that you need to get to move the car from there. That scale is always gotten by these drivers who have worked here over and over again. This is exactly what happens here on the Kulin River every day you sit on it then it cross go uh, but this one it can no, no, uh, oh it's to no go uh, it's too much well, water is too much can go up 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 like this it's flowers it's no day it's flower cover flowers yes, all it's curve that's this? that's car park mm. it's, water is come it's there the water is the car the park here. You go all the way there. Yeah, top, the car, top, the top, top, top. Yeah, car park here. Water is come is fly. She's trying land. to tell me how uh, the river can uh, get filled up to the extent that you won't even see uh, the vegetation around. We parked our car about uh, some five minutes drive away. He said the water can get there so that you can't even park there when the water is filled up. Medical consumables are not delivered on time. Documents are not signed early enough. Healthcare delivery is delayed. Pregnant women who need healthcare don't get it. They sit for hours waiting for healthcare officials who turn up late. We have to travel more distance than the other district. So work, uh, t work that we, time that we would have used to work is always lost as a result of travel, long travel hours. And aside that, the risk of being on the bike is very, very, very high. District health officials have, however, devised means to deal with the problem. In terms of logistic provision, what we do is to provide some at that section, 
building a section for them where the storekeeper will have to move from here to that place to serve them. And when there's the need for them to what we cannot provide, then we make a requisition for them to go to the medical store at the region to pick the, that one. But this doesn't solve the entire problem. Their plea is for bridges to be constructed on the two water bodies. The road network system in what is actually is posing a threat to uh, health uh, issues in the area. Within the Fonsi Township, that is the district capital, uh, sometimes we just use the grader to sip uh, within, but uh, the assembly will not have that capacity to finance uh, graveling or uh, opening up a road to link some communities. If the central government doesn't come in, that road, that's where if you, you have to cross three big rivers before you get to those communities. And so, for, in fact, for the past three months, none of us could get there in order to render services to them. Through nobody's fault. So, if gov I mean, central government comes in, I mean, just open up the place, make sure the road network is available, then uh, on the ground, we will also be filling up the patches there. Quality health care cannot be achieved until the two separated parts of the district are linked by two bridges. So not only do they have to battle health issues, but of course they also have to deal with education as well. And for hours, teachers struggle to teach the children due to the large numbers in classrooms in some kindergarten classes in the Wa East district of the Upper West region there are about 240 children in class, but teachers say congestion is huge and a hindrance to teaching and learning at these basic levels. But let's talk about it now because we have the MP for Y East in the Upper West Region in the person of Honorable Godfrey Tangu Bayon in our presence. Good morning. Good morning, my sister. So you mm -hmm. saw right there on the screens what the plight of people in your district is, and this is a real challenge to health care. But I want to know, since you deal with them directly, what is the real situation like? Uh, thank you, my sister. And I want to thank my brother, Bright, for taking the pains mm. to travel to Wa'is and to have seen and filmed what the real situation is. Right. In fact, there's no exaggeration of anything that we ha has been shown on the screen. Mm. That is the real situation. And that is what the situation is in Ghana here. Mm. As we sit in Accra, as we sit in Kumasi and other things with uh, facilities, others in other parts of the country mm. are just struggling to survive. Right. You have seen it where you have from one part of the district, you have to travel to the other or to the capital. Mm. Sometimes, especially in the rainy season, you just cannot go because there are two, two rivers that need to be crossed. Mm. But unfortunately, all efforts have not been successful in uh, bridging those uh, rivers. Mm. So in fact, people farm and even how to send their, uh, their products to uh, marketplaces is a problem. Right. So the people get so impoverished, diseases attack people, mm. and at certain points, medical officers cannot reach them. Right. So it's, it's, it's so bad, my sister. Right, maybe you'd like to touch on it because you just came back from yeah. there as well. How do the people in that district feel about their plight or do they, do they think it's the norm across board and so they are okay with it? Um, uh, they, they, they are simply uh, disappointed mm. that um, uh, there's that kind of neglect. Mm. Uh, we just returned from Wa East mm. uh, just last Thursday. That's our second trip. We were there uh, in October. Just last uh, Thursday, we made our second trip and returned to Accra. It, it's the situation we just saw with the um, the road is still mm -hmm. the same. Uh, the assembly cannot fix that road. In fact, putting a steel bridge on that river or the two mm -hmm. rivers will require huge funding, which the Certainly. assembly uh, cannot do. They are only appealing to central government to to step in. Now, mm -hmm. the problem in why is district is simple. Now, if you build the two highways, there are two highways. There's one from Fian 
through uh, another district, mm. through to Funsi. Okay. And there is one highway from Busa all the way to Holomuni and beyond, Katwa and beyond. Now, if central government comes in and construct these two highways, mm. why is problem will begin to go down? Right. The problem of teacher uh, accommodation, mm. the problem of uh, health care uh, 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 issues, mm. it is because the roads are bad. Drivers will not ply there because mm. if you put a new vehicle there in two months, it will go bad. Mm -hmm. So all the problem is as a result of the fact that the two highways are terribly bad. Mm -hmm. Resolving the problem will mean central government mm -hmm. coming in. Exactly. All the, uh, what the assembly can do is to just do reshaping, mm -hmm. which in itself is not good because you keep getting the road narrower. Mm -hmm. So it, you speak to the people and they said, look at where we are. There's a community that we went to, which will be showing very soon, mm -hmm. the water that they, they drink. And they told me that they've spoken to the member of parliament. Yeah. They have themselves been able to dug a borehole. Mm -hmm. They're looking for some money to, to top up. Mm -hmm. They've spoken to their member of parliament and the, the district chief executive, they are working on, on getting mm -hmm. help for them. So once these roads are open, non-governmental organizations can also go in. Private persons can go mm -hmm. in there and put up businesses to see these uh, communities live well. But for now, the, the, the situation is so bad that sometimes you go there and you look at the way they live, you, you feel so, their roads are not good, their water is not good, mm -hmm. they don't have electricity, and even the healthcare there, mm -hmm. Is bad. Mm. And so a lot will have to be done if we want to see these people really live the way we want them to live. Very well. Angabu Bayon, you have heard your people cry out to you. And as stake, a stakeholder and also a partaker in this, pro, um, you know, solving the issues, what do you think your, you have done, you have instituted to help deal with the plight of the people in your district? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, as my brother has spoken, mm. that is really the picture down there mm. and it's a complex one right. because the district is so vast yet sparse in population mm. we have dotted communities all over and so sometimes how to deal with them is it, even administratively mm. it's a problem mm. if you have an item that you have to send to your uh, constituents you spend three four times the amount that other MPs will have to spend mm. uh, this teacher accommodation I think over the years that I have been MP, I tried to see in a way how to solve it. Mm. And the best I could do with the limited resources was to buy roofing uh, zinc and distribute to the communities to also put up a structure so that the teachers can manage with that. Mm. That has been what I have done in that, in that direction. I, as I said, I, have, I was once also a, a DC mm. in WA, then the where is Wa West and Wa Municipal were one. I was ever the DC there. And uh, my brother, some of the roads that you have seen, it is because some of us, we did certain things to even open up some of, of, of them. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, time passed, it was just impossible to get to some of the places. Mm -hmm. You only needed a bicycle or to go on foot mm -hmm. to get there. But at least we were able to open up some of, some, some of the roads, but which needs central government working on. Unfortunately, like he said, these two roads are so cardinal. In fact, there are even three, because there's another road from Logo down to Chasia, which also needs working on. And over the years, we have tried. I remember this Kulum and Ambalara Bridge. When I became a Minister of State at Rose for one year, I put that, pro project, that project and the American bridge project for it to be crossed. And all things were advanced. It has advanced to the stage of parliamentary approval. Mm. Unfortunately, we left office. We have, have inquired. They will say, oh, they are on it. It will soon come on. And it has never come on. Mm. If, you, if, you, if you have followed the road from Wa to West Busa, right. you see that the first five kilometers was start. Mm. And since we left office 2008. That from where we stopped, not an inch has been added on it right. to, to it. But I thought that as government, we should be progressing. At least if we were able to do five kilometers and the, next, the other government also added another five or ten, then this time we should have got, uh, reached somewhere. But unfortunately, it is not happening. 
see, the, the, the other issue has to do with the, the, um, the health facilities in the area. For instance, mm -hmm. the, the health center at Holomini, uh, where even um, a, a delivery bed is a, is a challenge for, for them. Holomini serves about 7,000 communities there. Mm -hmm. And if you go there, you will see what our women are exposed right. to. They simply don't have what it takes to take care of them. Mm -hmm. They are pregnant, mm -hmm. and yet uh, they go there and healthcare mm -hmm. uh, becomes a, a problem more than mm -hmm. um, a, a solution. So uh, I don't know what the, your office as a member of parliament is doing in, in, as a result of that. Mm. It seems the Honourable has some documents to that. Yes. Uh, first, our main problem is to get a district hospital. Right. Because uh, you can't have a district without a district office. But you see, our uh, district is so complex that if you even put a district hospital at Funsi, it is only the 24 communities in, within the Sisala area that can okay. access that. Mm. Bulenga, Logo, and all those, in fact, about 80% of the people in Wa East even cannot access it. The, so the, it is closer to Wa than yes, to Funsi. So, so they, they, they go to, to Wa than to go to Funsi. To go to Funsi. So, it's a complex situation, mm -hmm. and so we, 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 if we are to have hospitals or polyclinics, Funsi should have a, a, a district hospital, Bulenga should have a polyclinic, mm -hmm. and Logo as well. Mm -hmm. Then we enhance the other clinics. So like I'm saying, when you, you gave your report, mm -hmm. and I saw on, it on the Holomuni Health, Hol Hol Health Center, I saw it and I was bad about it. So uh, normally MPs have some 50, 50 something thousand for uh, from the uh, national health insurance mm. to do whatever help you can also do to your right. people when I, i've gotten that in, and you can see from this this is the request i've made i want to give some delivery bears i want to give some motorbikes i want to give a, a delivery delivery set. delivery set and theater table mm. that is what the the, the 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 best the money i have can do right. Uh -huh. And you also see even with education, you can see some laptops, uh, uh, some photocopiers, copiers, printers, mm. scanners, digital camera. That is what, those are some of the things that district director yeah, has right. asked ask for. Mm. And I'm getting very soon, maybe but before Easter, these items would have gone to the district. Uh, how well are you lobbying to get, for instance, central government's attention mm -hmm. uh, to fix these two highways? Because for me, eighty percent of why is problem will be uh, dealt with if right. the two roads. Are, 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 are fixed. Yes, we have been, we have been making the appeals, mm. but it looks like central government always seem to be uh, confronted with lack of funds. Fun. You see, especially that Funsi Road, which runs from Wa through Kojipiri and all down to Funsi, mm. it's about a hundred and something kilometers. Right. So sometimes government thinks that they, they, can, they don't have the funds to do it and that sort of thing. So mm. otherwise, we have been appealing. That one, the lobbying we have been doing it only, unfortunately. Now they say they are going to do continue with the bus, wa, wa, Busa to Bulenge Road. They say they are going to do some kilometers of it uh, in the course of this year. Very well. On that yes. note, we do hope that this platform has afforded the Honorable Member of Ap Wa East and the Upper West Region, Godfrey Bayon, to make a passionate appeal out there to government to do some construction work in the Upper West for them. But